Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about my favorite products for a no makeup day. I will say some of these products you might consider as makeup because they're things like primers or I actually have like a tinted lip balm and things like that. For me, if I'm putting any products on my face, I don't really care what they're classified as. I think the main point of this video is that, you know, you're not wearing, you know, concealer and foundation and blush and bronzer and mascara, things that are like obviously makeup. First thing that I want to talk about is an eyebrow dye. So if you have lighter eyebrows like me, you might want to consider something like this. This is the Just For Men Mustache and Beard Dye. And I know it seems super weird and crazy, but this stuff actually works so amazing at tinting your brows. I mean, I've talked about this product like a billion and one times, but basically all you do is it comes with a color and a developer, like normal hair dye pretty much. You just put one dot of each in the little pan that they give you, mix it up, and then I just like to use a small angled, I think this is just like an eyeliner brush. My eyebrows actually aren't that bad right now because I actually tinted them like just a little over a week ago, so they still have some tint to it, but I figured I might as well just touch it up while we're on the topic. Okay, so now that I've coated my brows in that, I'm just gonna let it sit for like five minutes and then wipe it off with like a baby wipe or a makeup wipe. This is something that is super easy. It just really helps to define your eyebrows. It also temporarily stains your skin as well underneath your brows. So they just, I don't know, they just look a little bit more nicer and shaped without putting any product on it. And obviously when you have tinted brows or tinted lashes, same kind of deal, you don't have to worry about wearing any kind of eyebrow products or mascara. However, I'm not gonna be tinting my eyelashes at home because I tried it once and I don't know, it's just sketchy. I'm scared about getting it in my eye. All right, the brow dye is almost ready to be wiped off, but while we're waiting, we can always use a little lip scrub. This is the MAC Lip Scrubscious in, I think, just vanilla. Exfoliating your lips and just also just your face in general is a really good idea when you're not planning on wearing much makeup because nobody likes to have dry, flaky lips or skin. And I love a good anti-redness eye drop. Especially when I'm not wearing makeup, I really like to make sure that my eyes look as bright and awake as possible. All right, let's give them a little brush through. Ta-da! So for me, the next thing that I wanna apply is like a brightening or color correcting face primer. This is a really great one by Stila. This is the One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Serum. Literally just does what it says. Very nice all around product. But I've also been recently using this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer, which I do really like for no makeup days. I'm gonna take a pump and a half of that. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this Maybelline by Gigi Hadid Tinted Primer. This is in the shade Light Medium. I'm literally using the teeniest drop of it because it is definitely too dark for my skin, as you can see there. And I'm just mixing the two of those products together on my fingers and then applying to my face. And the reason that I'm using that tinted primer is because I'm just so pale that adding just a tiny, tiny bit of color to my skin really does help me out. It makes me feel a little bit more alive. And that Banana Bright Primer really just helps to give my skin a glow as well. Of course, if you are not as ghostly as me, you would only need the one kind of brightening or color correcting type of primer. Then I'm gonna go in with an eye cream. This is also by Ole Henriksen. This is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. This has been a staple for so many people for a long time. And I do really like it. It's not like super color correcting on me, but it is, very, very glowy and hydrating. And I like to bring it under my eyes and then also kind of on the tops of my cheekbones because I just like the glow that it gives me in that area. Don't forget the top of the eyelid. You can just bring that anywhere that you wanna add like a little bit of extra highlight. Yeah. 
All right, well, you could leave the skin there if you want, but one of the reasons that I love wearing foundation is not necessarily to even out my complexion or cover up red spots. Like that stuff I don't really care about so much, but what I really dislike is pores. And some of the foundations that I use do kind of blur my pores a little bit. So obviously I'm not gonna be wearing foundations, but I am gonna be using like a pore filling primer just on my nose. So two things that I really like are the Pixi by Petra Flawless and Poreless Primer. And this is Benefit the Pore Fashionable Pore Minimizing Makeup. Even though it says it's makeup, it's literally like pure liquid and it doesn't give any coverage at all. So I will usually use one of those two things. I'm just gonna use the Pixi today. And just pat that on my nose and it really does help to fill in those pores, make my nose look a little bit smoother because I really don't like the way my nose looks without makeup. Something I want to mention, but I'm not actually gonna put on my skin because I don't wanna to deviate too far from the actually no makeup ideal, but this is a shimmering kind of loose powder. This is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Golden Hour. And on days where I wanted to look a little bit extra glowy, I might put a little bit of this just kind of um, across my nose and on my cheekbones. But I'm going to leave that out today and instead use a tinted lip balm as both a lip product and a cheek product. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on my cheeks. This is just the Vaseline Lip Therapy in Rosy Lips. So it just has a very subtle pink tint to it. Obviously, I don't think that this would work on every single skin tone, but I'm sure you can get different shades of tinted lip balms. And that keeps my skin looking very natural, rosy, and because it is a lip balm, it does keep it looking very shiny and glossy as well. I put a little bit across my nose just to be cute. And of course on the lips. If fine lines are a concern for you as well, this is the number seven instant illusion wrinkle filler. And this is just kind of like a blurring type of product, but I like to take just like a teeny tiny amount. And I've got like kind of a, a wrinkle right here that tends to really crease and crack throughout the day. So I'm just gonna apply that right there. It really does help to blur that line. Put them in these lines as well. My last step, if you want to be even more glowy, totally, absolutely unnecessary. This is the Josie Marin Surreal Skin Argan Oil Finishing Balm. And this is such an interesting product. I'll see if I can get a close up, if it will focus. It's basically just like, yeah, a skin balm, but it has this like iridescence to it that is just so, so, so pretty. So I just like to take a tiny bit on my fingers, literally a teeny tiny bit, pat it on between them and just go to town not be able to tell but in real life that just gave my skin like an iridescence that is really really pretty and if you have super dry skin your skin will love this stuff like completely unscented as well which is nice all right guys that is the end of this video i hope that you enjoyed i hope that maybe you discovered some new products today i know it seemed like there was like a ton of products but i just wanted to share a variety of different things depending on what you guys maybe what your main concerns might be if i could like totally condense this into like I don't know, three things. I would probably say the eyebrow dye is a must, a brightening, like glowy face primer also a must, and the tinted lip balm for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single week. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,